Good morning, God Life. My name is Jesse. I'm a pastor here in Seattle, Washington, in America. I want to encourage you today to have faith in God. That's right, have faith in God. In the book of Hebrews chapter 11, faith is being sure of what we hope for, certain of what we do not see. If we could see it already, it wouldn't be faith. But faith is really trust. That's how you start a relationship with God, is through faith in Jesus Christ. He's the Savior of the world. He died for your sins. He's risen. And when you put your faith in him, it's just like when you sit on a chair, you're putting all your weight on the chair. You're putting your faith in that chair to hold you up. Faith in Jesus. That's a relationship with God that's forever. You're in God's family. Your sins are forgiven. If you've never made that decision, make that decision today to put your faith in Jesus. That's where relationship starts, with God. And now how do you grow? How do you grow in that relationship? It's through faith. Again, the chapter 11 in Hebrews says, Without faith, it's impossible to please God because God rewards those who earnestly seek him. Let's seek God together by faith. Now, as we're going to talk about faith today, I encourage you to hit the share button. Right now, you can hit the share button and let many people know about Jesus. Encourage them in their faith and in their walk with God. Now, when you consider faith and you go through the Bible, it was faith. Abraham uh, believed God. Sarah, they had a child when Abraham was 100 and Sarah was 90. It was by faith they believed God's promise. Also, Noah believed God, God's word that a flood would come. And he built an ark and it led, it was a picture of Jesus' salvation from the flood. And then we see that in the battle of Jericho, they walk around the walls. Why does Joshua do that? Because he listened to God and by faith, that's what God said. Walk around those seven days. And then that shout of praise on the seventh day, it was by faith. It was by faith that Moses believed that God would set the people free from slavery. This is all by faith. Read Hebrews chapter 11 and you'll see so many examples of by faith. By faith, Peter and Paul, they went and spread the gospel to the world and it was by faith. What is God calling you to do by faith? Not that you can see it already, but you're walking by faith. You're trusting God. God wants you to live out your faith, to be the hands and feet of Jesus. And in that faith walk, here's a couple things that are important. Number one, your faith can grow. It doesn't have to be the same as yesterday or a week before. Your faith can grow today. Faith is kind of like a muscle in your body. When you exercise it and you build it up, it grows. We want to exercise our faith, live out our faith, and we want our faith to grow. And then the second part, well, how does faith grow? Hearing the Word of God. Faith comes by hearing the Word of God. When you hear the Word of God, you can go to church and hear the Word of God. I encourage you to find a church. You can study the Bible, read the Bible. When you hear the Word of God, it could be through God life or it could be through an app that you have. Uh, but you hear the Word of God. When you hear the Word of God, take it to heart. Let it sink in deeply. Think about it. Listen to the Lord. And then do what God says. Uh, be a doer of God's Word. Don't just study it and learn. It's not just more information, but instead you want to live it out. And then third, you can become a man after God's own heart. When you seek God, you abide with Jesus. That's John chapter 15. And you live it out by faith. You can be a man after God's own heart, a woman after God's own heart, already accepted and forgiven and loved, but now living by faith, doing whatever God wants. That's what David made many mistakes, but he became a man after God's own heart. You can become a woman after God's own heart. You listen to God's word, act by faith, do whatever God tells you to do. And what is God going to tell you to do? It's going to come back to the great commandment. Love God with all your heart, strength, soul, and mind. God says that in his word. Love your neighbor as yourself. God says that by faith. Forgive everyone fully. God says that in his word. You're going to pray and fast. God says that in his word. You're going to find a church and serve at the church and use your gifts. God says to do that. You're going to give generously off the top towards God's kingdom. God says to do that. You're going to share your faith and you're going to share your story. You're going to lead people to Jesus. You're going to bless the nations. You're going to do so many wonderful things by faith. You're at your best when you're trusting Jesus, walking with Jesus, and living by faith. I want to encourage you right now to leave any prayer requests, anything you need prayer for. We're honored to pray for you. You can also leave a little message here and where you're watching. We're walking by faith together around the world. God loves people from every nation and tribe, and you can leave your location. You can also hit the share button right now and encourage other people to walk by faith. If we don't walk by faith, we're going to walk by fear. We're going to be stuck in discouragement. We're going to be isolated. We're going to be worried. Uh, that's not faith. Faith is not a spirit of defeat. Faith is not being intimidated. Faith is not just silence. 
Uh, faith is letting your light shine. Let your light shine. How you love people, listen to people, care for people, serve people, use your gifts to build up other people, and then spread the word of God. Spread the word of God and let more people hear God's word because faith comes from hearing God's word. And truly, faith says yes to God's word. Faith also trusts God with the results. You don't know what's going to happen. But you know what you can do is be faithful to God. What has God called you to do? Take your eyes off the other people. Stop comparing, envying, or being jealous. Don't worry about someone else's calling. Primarily, your responsibility is to be faithful to Jesus. Walk by faith. Be faithful. Trust God with the results. There might be some surprising results. God might call you to new places, to say new things, to build new friendships, to be bolder than you've been. God's going to lead you. Trust him with the results. Be faithful and God will work it out. Seek first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added. I hope that you walk close with Jesus today. It's a faith walk. One day we're going to see him. He's going to return. He's going to rule and reign. King of kings and Lord of lords. Can't wait for that day. So excited to be with him forever in heaven. But until then, we walk by faith, not by sight. Let's trust the Lord Jesus. Let's walk with him. Let's glorify him. Let's lead people to him. Life is Jesus is life, the, the life that is truly life, the abundant life, the Jesus life. We can't do it on our own. We do it by faith, by faith together in Jesus. Again, thanks for watching. Leave your prayer requests, uh, share the video, and uh, we'll, we'll catch you up again soon. I love uh, talking about God's word with you. Read Hebrews chapter 11. Be encouraged today to live by faith in Jesus Christ.